to the live stream. Thank you for 100,000 Instagram followers. And if you're not watching this live, keep watch, watching, listen to it like a podcast. So many people keep watching the live stream and they, they like listen to it like a podcast. So um, that's super awesome. I feel like it's been going live every Friday and I just feel like it's such a long time between each live stream. But then again, in the summer, we go live twice a week. So it's like, we're always hanging out and talking, but I'm excited. We got a bunch of people already on the stream. We're gonna do a bunch. We're gonna talk about a, lunch, a bunch. I'm gonna announce the winner for the Clue uh, Snowboard and Binding winner, even though I did announce it on my Instagram, but I'll, if you guys didn't catch that, I'll announce it on the live stream, as well as Alex. Already, dude? Thanks, Alex. Alex is actually here today, hanging out. Already throwing the fox out there. Your $5 donation, Alex. You're the man, dude. First donation of the live stream. The blue bar in the chat has my Venmo and Streamlabs. You can drop a donation through those guys. I do get 100% of those donations. And hopefully I can't keep up with this chat. So if you want to um, ask a question, not wait around, just drop a donation and I immediately read donations as well as it supports the dream. It's how we're able to do this. So uh, thank you so much for all the, the love and support. Alex, dropping a $5 donation. But we got some, we got some main... Some main people in here, like Apples Alpine, who's going to be snowboarding powder with me in a couple weeks. We got Eric. How we doing, dude? Ben Snow. Uh, Randy, also jumping in on the Fox, uh, the Fox uh, hype. <laughs> then Alex jumping in. Dude, Ski Doc jumps in one stream, drops one Fox, and now it's just Fox all the time. Alex, thanks for the $7 in donations. Randy, thanks for the $5 in donations. I hope you get to Keystone soon, Randy. And um, I was in the middle of saying hi to Day Job Shredder and all sports all day. Uh, Mountain Asher, how we doing? Day Job Shredder says, yo, Jonathan, how you been? You want me to be real? Do you want me to get real with you? Dude, Alex is going off. Dude, Alex, another $2 donation. Uh, thank you so much for the, the constant foxes. And then, dude, this is a donation train. What's going on? There's 86 people here, too. Let's go. Um, Quammers, thanks for the dollar. And just dropped a little smiley face with the cool shades. How we doing? Uh, where do I snowboard? I snowboard in Colorado. So a lot of I've been getting that asked a lot. A lot of people actually don't know when I'm ba where I'm based out of. And I don't know if that's because we've been posting a lot of... Um, what am I trying to say? Like uh, videos from like Big Snow and... and um, Mount Hood and, and you know, like videos from all over the place. So maybe that's why, but, uh, dude, Alex can't stop. Dude, what was it? Like 30 bucks you just dropped? Alex, thanks for the $20 donation, man. Gee, let's go, Alex. Bringing the hype. Okay. Day job shredder. How have I been? I mean, if you asked me yesterday, I was, uh, I've been great. We had like the sickest powder day ever yesterday. Oh my gosh, There's, I, I'm gonna try to answer this question real quick and I will get to the, the donations just keep pouring in. Um, I'd be a liar though, but I said this this season hasn't, for the business wise, hasn't been tough. I've been, it's it's hard because we're, we're growing like crazy and we're doing so good. Like we had 100,000 on Instagram, are you kidding me? 200,000 on TikTok, you know, we're getting almost a thousand subscribers a day on YouTube. Like the growth is insane business side of things and then also like having three employees and, and just trying to grow it like that's been hard like trying to take this to another level it that's it's been tough but dude 150 people here um and I, i'm one of those people where i can't be fake about it like if i can't be like oh yeah everything's perfect and fine and everything is not burning down falling apart or anything but it's it's been a i've learned a lot it's been a huge growth year for being a business owner so um which i love at the same time too that's like the fun part of being an entrepreneur is like running into problems and trying to figure them out and um i mean also like a big and uh nate i don't know if you and cody got the resort map updated and if you haven't maybe you guys can do it real quick but we had to completely change our midwest trip so if you're planning on snowboarding with us in the midwest be aware that the trip is completely changing just because resorts either aren't open or they're only open on weekends or they're only open at night. And like the whole Midwest route that we had planned kind of just got exploded due to hours of operation and stuff like that. So 
Holy donations. You guys are insane. Thank you to so, all these super chats. I haven't even checked Venmo to see if we got a Venmo donation, but I right, so Day Job Shredder dropped a $2 Fox. And then Quarmers came back with a $3 donation. I hope I'm saying that right. With the uh, the hippo being like, next time. Hope he's not saying next time he's gonna rock me. And then Mount Ash with another fox. Fox is coming in left and right. Thanks for the $5 donation. And then Qualmers with another $5 donation, but asked a question this time. Uh, you should pull up to Wisco again and hit slopes at Tyrol. Dude, We were with, with the route we were gonna go on, we actually were gonna be right next to Tyrol and we were, consider go we were considering going, but now I don't even know where we're going. Nate, Nate actually planned the new route completely. So um, if you guys want to know where we're going in the Midwest, Nate's, Nate's your guy. I'll tell you what's up. Austin, how are we doing, man? You need to buy a cat so I can come work for you. Austin, if I had the capital, I'd buy a cat. Greg, what up, Greg? I was on the phone with Greg the other day, and I'm really happy. All sports all day. 19 months, dude. You've been supporting the channel for 19 months. You're almost full-blown gold, dude. Crazy how two years ago, we'd have 30 people on these streams and now there's like a hundred. It's only going up. I know all sports, it is going up. I would say though, we definitely, I would say the streams are down this season. I think last season around this time, we were in like the 150s, 200 on a live stream. Um, and we're kind of chilling like right under a hundred on these winter streams. It's all good though. It's still going up. It's more than like you said two years ago. The angry skier. Of course the angry skier is in here. Dropping an angry hippo. Dude, you guys are this donation train is insane. Angry skier dropped four dollars. And once again, if I haven't read your your message, I, I, I read donations right away and then I'll go back and try and um, catch up questions and things. But if you don't want me to miss your question, just feel free to drop a donation and I'll immediately read it. Like Young Hawk, who dropped twenty dollars dude let's go when you come into idaho oh not this year we are kind of saving um idaho and a lot of the west coast for because this gold ride every resort in the united states is going to take years you know it, it's it's not something we can do in a season or a couple it's something we got to do for a while but the best part about that is uh, you, you subscribe and you're going to get content and us traveling for, for years, you know, like I'm not going to stop snowboarding anytime soon. So this gold ride at resort in the United States doesn't have to be done today. Um, and with having young kids, I have a five-year-old and a one-year-old, it is really hard to travel and be gone for a week or so. So, um, yeah, see like the streams went from 115 to 58. Where'd you guys go? Get back here. Oh, I do need to announce how to snowboard with me and I'll do that in a second. Um, but Todd dropped a $25 Venmo donation. Todd, dude, thank you so much. I hope you and uh, Molly are doing great. Hope everyone is doing great. Everyone's doing great on this end. Todd, dude, thank you so much for that $25 donation. Okay, I'm gonna jump into these new donations on Super Chats, but before I do, winter camp. Come rip powder with me. So I'm about to post a video. Hopefully, it won't be tomorrow, but it'll be the day after tomorrow in Silverton. So expect on this, the first, a Silverton vlog of me ripping the most insane pow I went for opening day. And you guys can come ride Silverton with me and rip powder and also go in a private cat tour as well as go to Telluride. It's this is called Winter Camp. It's three days of shredding, big mountain. It's an all-inclusive camp. So all your food, um, we rented an entire hotel. So the vibe, like it's a 1980s like it's the sickest hotel. Um, we're gonna, we, we literally are gonna have the greatest time ever and there's only eight spots available and three have already been taken. So there's five spots for camp available. Winter camp, you can be a skier too. You do not have to be a snowboarder. And we are gonna get to film everybody as well. So we're gonna have, um, we'll be able to break down your footage and we're gonna go over footage and we're just gonna have a great experience. And it's really hard to do a private cat or just do a cat and if you're like someone that wants to go and you're like dude i just don't want to do silverton by myself and i really want to do silverton like this is your chance like come work with me cody myself and i really want to do silverton like this is your chain in and um we got a whole we got everything everything's gonna you know everything got everything planned out everything's gonna be booked out like it's gonna be the ultimate big mountain experience and it's like intro 
I, I, it's like intro to big mountain slash intro to backcountry because like Silverton is technically backcountry, but it's also guided and it's avalanche controlled. So everything we're going to be doing there is going to be completely safe. Well, completely safe. I mean, it's an action sport, but um, it's how you get into this stuff. It's how you learn to ride big mountains. That's how you learn to ride trees. So if you want to come rip with me, or if you just want to look at, just go do me a favor and just go look at camp and let me know if it's something you want to do. And if you have questions, you can email me. Um, it is an 18 or older camp, unless a parent wants to bring their kid. Um, but the kid has to be a certain age. You got to be able to uh, like ride blues and like, you got to be able to ride a black diamond. You know, it's just big mountain riding. Um, but you don't have to be like the sickest runner. That's like the whole point of this is like to introduce you guys to it, to, to help you guys get into it. So check out Winter Camp. I just shared the link buckhouseindy.com it's also my website you can buy stickers and shirts and other stuff there the new merch oh this is on um that's just plug right after plugging but i'm gonna shamelessly plug right after plugging we have dropped new style so it's got the keep evolving here and the evolution logo on the sleeve what we're using a new merch provider um there's the the link for that right there but, uh, dude, Lee, Lee Lulu, I probably read your name wrong, says, we love you. Dude, thank you so much for the $2 donation. Alex, not letting the fox die. Keeping it around, $2, Alex. Thank you so much, brother. And then uh, 406 from above, welcome back. You've been coming on the streams a lot. Appreciate it. Montana, Montana Pal hits different. Business trip to Denver coming. Hopefully, y'all get Pal when I'm there. Much love. Keep it up. Dude, I hope we do get Pal. The cool thing with Colorado, like the cool thing with Silverton is, well, one, they're getting 40 inches. So I just went, they got, did, they, I rode 20 inches at Silverton, which was awesome. But that kind of really set their base. And they're getting 40 more inches this weekend. So when we go for camp, there's going to be unlimited amounts of snow that we can rip and shred and stuff. So um, they get great conditions. So like, even if it, like, it hasn't snowed in like a week, if you come to camp, there's a good chance like we're still gonna be ripping pow, even if it hasn't snowed. But the way this season's been going, we've been getting snow. And that's in Silverton, Colorado, by the way, is where we're gonna be staying. I don't know if I mentioned that. And uh skiers can go. I'm in Wolf Creek and there's so much snow, but we are but how about near you getting hit in the face with snow always hurts. I don't know if you get, when you're making clouds, I, don't, I would say it hurts, but um, dude, the snow near us has been great. Jay, Jerry Gay says, Damon, I'll snowboard with you. Are you coming to the Northeast sometime this season? There's a bunch of nice, or has it been a, so much nice powder already? The North? Northeast, getting powder, that's sick. Like, is Buffalo considered Northeast? Because they got like five feet of snow. And then they like move the football game. Um, we're coming out to the East Coast to shred for sure this season. So so be ready for that. I need to double check Streamlabs real quick for donations. Sure. Uh, little oh, it's little Juju. That's how you say his name. Thanks so much. For the content, we love you. I appreciate that $2 donation, $4 on the stream uh, that you have donated, man. Thank you so much. And I'm sorry that you love the content. We are bringing you guys so much content. We have posted two videos a day. Tomorrow will be a month of posting two videos a day for two months, which means a we've posted 120 videos now that I like I say that it's like what is that is that right is that math right 60 yeah we posted 120 videos since November how nuts is that and that doesn't include any short form content that's like just vlogs how to's resort reviews um goofy videos like ski blading you guys see the ski blade video today your boy hit your boy hit Hit uh, a rail sideways, so. Toilet Clogger, how we doing? 
And then Rob Rogers with the 14 months, man. Let's go. My youngest son started hitting boxes yesterday and wasn't doing good for his first time, but he's killing it today. So proud of him. Dude, Rob, that's insane, dude. Tell him I say congrats, man. Hitting boxes is a big deal. That's where it starts. Start with the boxes, start and then you hit jumps and stuff. No way, Jason. Thanks for the $10 donation. Jason's also coming to camp. He says, got my clue bindings and rode them a couple days ago. They are honest, honestly, they are honestly awesome. So nice and easy to walk around and step in. Time saver and worth it. Didn't have to buy any new boots. Yes, Jason. Thanks for uh, sharing your experience with the clues. I, I don't promote crap. I, I really do promote stuff that I use and like and think is awesome. So if you need some new bindings and you like the step in bindings or want step in bindings as well, uh, it's 10% off and have, out of a $500 pair of bindings, saving 10% is massive. So get yourself a pair of clues. Jason, I'm stoked you got them. So you got to use them, dude. And uh, I don't know when the next time I'm going to Steamboat. I will be at Keystone tomorrow, by the way, guys. Hey, John, I got a board a month ago and it already chipped its edge. Any recommendations for a fresh board? Um, take it to, if you're in Colorado, hit up the ski dock. Maybe he can like fresh up your board for you. But when it comes to snowboards, guys, it's hard because like, we're spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars. The snowboard's about 600 bucks now. And you get it and you beat it up. Like, I just thrashed my board yesterday, just ripping pow and like hard charging and running over stuff. And you beat up your board, but it's a tool, you know? Like, you don't buy a hammer and then don't want to hit stuff with it, you know? So if you get a snowboard, it's gonna kind of get beat up a bit. Aaron, you want the link for camp? I got you. Don't even worry about it, it's coming. Come to camp. Check it out. Sign up for it. If you sign up for it on the live stream, we have a party. I'm gonna I'm gonna get that pulled up to where if anyone signs up for camp on this live stream, it's it's going down. I heard a rumor if someone signs up for camp on the live stream, Nate's gonna jump into my hot tub with all his clothes on. It's just a rumor. Oh, no way. This didn't happen. This happened before the stream. No, this happened. Yeah, this happened right before the stream. Oh, this happened before the stream. Let's go. I didn't even know. This happened at 8, 8.02, we went live at 8.30. So it didn't happen during the stream, so Nate doesn't have to jump in the hot tub yet. Nate's like, what the heck, dude, I didn't say that. It's just a rumor, guys. But, dude, we got our fourth member for camp. Let's go, I'm so, I'm so hyped. Let's go. Literally, it says comments, like the person that signed up, and all they said was, let's go. Oh, I'm so stoked, guys. Stoked on your review of Aspen Snowmash, especially Highland Bowl. Hoping to be healed enough to ride with you. Love your passion for the sport, Mount Ash, dude. I cannot wait to ride in um, in Aspen. We're staying in Glenwood unless... Um, sorry, my wife just texted me. Uh, we're staying in Aspen unless... Or we're staying in Glenwood when we ride in Aspen. Unless someone's got a really awesome condo in Aspen that they want us to hang out in. And uh, that was Ant. Ant signed up. Dude. Let's go, Ant. Uh, we're staying in Glenwood in Aspen. Unless someone's got a condo they want us to stay in and show off and, and promote while we're out there. We would happily stay in someone's uh, place in Aspen. But uh Ant, dude, let's go. And it's going to be an insane camp. I hope you've been seeing the uh, all the powder that I posted. And I'm going to be posting the next couple of days on short form content, like Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube shorts. 
Check out the short form content, but four people coming to camp. Oh, I'm so hyped. Winter camp, five spots remaining. It's actually four. There's only four. Yeah, that means there's only four spots left for winter camp. Stoking. Dude, this donation train's been insane. Uh, Mount Ash, thank you so much for the $10 donation. But yeah, when we go to Aspa, dude, it's going to be rowdy. It's going to be sick. And then next year, we'll post the resort reviews. We only have two more resort reviews dropping this winter. So we kind of found a, uh, we found a system for resort reviews where we're going to film them in the summer and edit them and get them ready. And then we'll have a stockpile because we, well, we have a lot more time in the summer to work. So we'll have a stockpile of videos going into every winter, meaning, meaning like a stockpile of resort reviews. So Osvaldo, how you been, dude? Full moon gold. It looks good on you, man. He says, what's up, everyone? Long time. Going to miss the powder. Don't want to deal with I-7. Indy this weekend. It's going to be a nightmare. Oh, yes. Yeah, let's start snowing tonight. Um, Osvaldo, dude. I get it. I wouldn't want to deal with the traffic either. But thanks for the $5 donation, brother. And then Ant. He dropped in the fox, and then he dropped, he dropped a ten dollar donation too. So I've seen all all of the powder, or I've seen all of the powder, bro. And for the record, I'm gonna be out a lot earlier than that. Lol, let's go, dude, Ant, dude, Ant, Ant came to summer camp, bro camp, and now he's coming to winter camp. This is our first ever winter camp. So and Apples Alpine's coming, uh, Big Ant is coming, and Jason's coming. So. 406 from Web says, uh, also part of 107 drone pilot. So if you want to add a FPV shots while I'm in Denver, I'm down. Won't cost you. Just want to support the dream. No way, dude. I, I'm so down to have a, like an FPV drone come out and, and rip around. I think that'd be sick. The only thing with that is we gotta ride back country. So um there's a lot of stuff that comes to taking people in the back country. Like gear and things like that just start watching your you just start watching you found you on tiktok or your tiktok's killing it dude that's awesome i've been actually been getting approached a lot by people saying like yo i follow your tiktok which is like mind-blowing to me but there's two hundred thousand followers on tiktok which is which is insane and now in to instagram thank you to everyone that followed the instagram we have one hundred thousand followers now on instagram which is uh I, my, I set a goal for 70,000 for this year on Instagram, and I didn't think we were going to hit it. Thomas says, almost one year as a member, rode 36 inches of POW Monday and took kids yesterday to a place not on the ski map. Ooh. Masuki Mountain, Lake City, Michigan. Thomas, can you email? On the ski map has Kenny's email. Can you email him that resort so we can get it on there? Um, because we, we use like Google to find all the resorts and stuff. So like some resorts are real, some resorts um, don't show up, stuff like that. So we need that insider information, Thomas. But dude, thanks for almost one year, dude. 11 months. That's so awesome. Uh, the Perfect Corner says, I saw your backcountry videos. Are you not worried about the dangers it possesses? So, of course you're... I, the, the worry... It's hard. So, like, am I worried about the dangers of the backcountry? Yes and no. Like, obviously, I don't want to die in an avalanche. I don't want to, I don't want to die, period. I don't want to get hurt in the backcountry. Like, there's so much more dangers when you do leave the ski resort. At the same time, there's so much danger hitting jumps and hitting rails. And, and just my level of snowboarding, period, there are tons of dangers. Am I worried about them? I would say no. Am I aware of them? Yes. And do I respect all the dangers that come with my level of riding and with the type of riding with the backcountry, stuff like that? A hundred percent. So... 
what I do is, so I'm aware of all the dangers, I respect all the dangers, and then I prepare for all the dangers. So with me now doing a lot of backcountry big mountain riding, I went out and got my Avalanche Cert 1. We just put, we posted those videos, you can go watch them, it's really cool. But I went out at a lot of education and there's so much more education to get, but I now have a really good grasp and understanding of why avalanches happen, how avalanches happen, and how to avoid making an avalanche happen. You know, obviously every time you're doing something, anything can happen, but if you're not in avalanche terrain, you can't be a part of an avalanche, things like that. So, um, am I worried? No. Do I, I know of the dangers? Yes. And I prepare myself to, like, every time I hit a 40-foot jump, like, there's a lot of, like, anything could happen on that jump. I can catch an edge as I get the kicker, break my back, be paralyzed from it. Like, that's a, that is a danger that could happen, and I'm aware of it, but I'm not worried about that happening. It's not going to happen. When is camp? Winter camp is January 24th through the 28th. I just typed it in the in the chat, but that's when camp is. Um, we are going to stop accepting campers on the 9th because we got to book everything. Um, right now we do have the hotel booked, but we will no longer be accepting um, campers after the 9th. So once again, if you're interested in this, sign up while you can. Uh, you don't have to be a snowboarder. You can be a skier. All-inclusive camp. So you pay the $3,000 and then you're done. If you are traveling to Colorado and landing in, in Denver, we're thinking about on the 24th doing um, a shuttle. So basically, probably be Cody would pick everyone up from the airport early in the... It's like a six-hour drive from DIA to Silverton. So we would do... Like, you got to land... I don't have a specific time, but we can talk about all that if you order camp, but we will pick a certain like fly in early time frame, and then Cody will pick all you guys up and we'll shuttle you from DIA to Silverton because I know going from DIA to Silverton isn't an easy feat. And so if you come to camp, we can make sure we can make that, that happen. Um, and uh, once again, don't have to be somewhere, be a skier. Uh, we're going to do video breakdowns and stuff. We're going to be hanging out in like the coolest, oldest, rustic. Um, I was actually in the Avon yesterday. It's such a, it's such a killer vibe there. And we have the whole place to ourselves. Um, and we're going to be riding a day at Telluride, private cat tour in Silverton, and then the hike day at Silverton. It's going to get rowdy. How much did you say it, it, how much did you say it is for where you're, lagging on the screen. Oh, it's $3,000 for camp, all inclusive. So that covers the private cat tour. It covers the hike day at Silverton and, and all your rentals for like the Abbey gear and everything at Silverton. It covers everything at Telluride, all of the lunches, the breakfasts, the, um, the dinners, all of that's included. All the travel from the Avon to Telluride to Silverton cat tour to Silverton mountain. All of that was covered. Like you literally you pay the money, you show up, and that's done. Craig, it is a lot, but it's a lot to do like a private cat tour. It's a lot to do Silverton. It's a lot to stay in Silverton. So um, it's not for everyone. This is, um, is there any way for me to park my rig at camp? Oh, 100%. And 100%. You probably just park right in front of the Avon. And like, we're going to like the tiniest, sickest mountain. Like when you think of like a stuck or like a separated from the world mountain town, I don't think you can find one better than Silverton. It's every time I'm in there, I'm like, could I live in this mountain town? Like, I don't even think it has a grocery store. Like it's so sick. Best run slash peak in Breck for snowboarding. I'm going the next couple days. Um, if you like Big Mountain, like obviously the upper part of Peak 8 is super easy access to Big Mountain. Bobby goes no to living in Silverton. You haven't seen it yet though, babe. It's really cute. Um, there's just no Target. I don't know if she can live without a Target. Where's your favorite ski resort? 
Telluride. So far, out of everything I've ridden in Colorado, Telluride's my number one. Actually, any resort I've ever ridden, Telluride's my number one. And that's what we're doing day one of camp. So I'm hyped on that. Let me check these. Uh... Thoughts on the, the Nidecker Merc. Is it a good... Is it a good burnt friendly, burnt friendly Burton custom? I I personally like the Burton custom way more than the Merc. The Merc's a great board. It carves really well. Like if you're really into carving, I think that's where that board performs the best. In the park, not so great. And the thing about it, it has a really soft nose and a really soft tail, like really soft. Like it's a camber board with an extremely soft nose and tail. So in the park, it was just so squirrely. And that, and then you really have to carve it, which I felt like I got on that board and I feel like I learned to carve into everything because of that board, which is cool. So now I feel like I'm always carving into everything. But if you're trying, if you're thinking Merc or Custom, go Custom. Did you like the American Dream Ski Slope? I'm really close. Joseph, I love that that place. If you're just going to go do runs, you're going to get bored. But if you're going to go ride park, you, I spent all day in there hitting the park. It's so fun. Yeah, so uh, Nathan has the Merc, and he says it butters well, too. It, it did do really well with butters. Omega, thanks for the $2 donation. And the love says you the goat. I appreciate it. How do I check out, how do I check exact times on your map? So we don't land, we don't have times for ski resorts on the map. I'll post a, on my Instagram, when the trip starts, we'll post a trip schedule with estimated times. Cause I'll, obviously we're, if we're, with traveling, you can't be, I can't say like, I'm gonna show up at two. Like, I don't know, I could like hit traffic or something. So like, it's not, it's not totally specific. Um, but it's like, Hey, we're going to be riding this resort in the morning, this one in the middle of the day, this one at night, things like that. Um, so we, we, we will post our time, our expected times and what resorts on our Instagram. Then then we're going to like mark them out and like follow the Instagram if you're trying to ride with us, cause that's where you're going to get the most up to date information. I haven't rode the Blossom by Burton. Jason, good old Jason. We love Jason. Jason was like, give a giveaway sticker on me. And because Osvaldo was in the stream, we're giving away a gold sticker. I'm reaching for the sticker, by the way. Aha. We're giving away a gold sticker. Jason, dude, thank you so much for the $15 donation on Venmo saying, Give a sticker away. Aiden says, hey, Jonathan, I was wondering if snowboards are as safe as skis. I don't know what that means. I think they're both equally dangerous. We're going to find a video on the Merc. Ooh, Rafa. Ooh, asking the hard questions. I'll, I'll find the video. I'll find I'll find that video. It's weird. I feel like my thumbnail for this live stream is gone for some reason. But then it, it's like, I'm confused. Okay, let me, sorry. I got distracted because my ceiling fan is the thumbnail on my, we had going to season six to find the, the Merc. When did we jump on the Merc in season six? Let's see. Oh, that's not the Merc. Did I say it was a new snowboard? Burton Stephon's, Rafa Basin, we did the Capita DOA. Uh, it looks like I'm still, nope, still, still, still. It's 
gotta be one of these. It was my first day when Michael... That's the Merc. When Michael got broke off. Or was it cop? No, it wasn't cop opening day. I'm over here just struggling trying to find when I got on this new board. I think it was at Keystone, for sure it was at Keystone, because I remember like the first time I turned on it, I was like, ooh. Yeah, this is. This is the video. This was my first day on the Merc. This is the day I talked about it the most. Hot tub stream? <laughs> oh, I, oh, we could hot tub stream. I actually have a hot tub. Are there any coupons, Red Dad? Coupons for what? Uh... He says, you two ain't ready for me in a hot tub. Nate jumping in a hot tub fully dressed. No, don't worry, no, no one signed up for camp yet on the stream. But we did get a, we did get a, we got Dave Job Shredder with the Streamlabs donation, dude. Thank you so much. It says change or not, I'm still going to try and catch you guys when you come through the Midwest. Dude, Day Job Shredder, I hope you do, man. I really do want to shred with you guys in the Midwest. Um, Nate, I don't know if you were on when I mentioned it, but is there any way we can get the new schedule for resort ski maps on the website tonight? during this stream or whatever, so people can see it. Um, if Cody's already sleeping, I know he's been waking up early. I get that too. Do you use the GoPro or Insta360 to film your videos? Aiden, I use the Insta360. It is my camera sponsor. I have it right here. So this is my camera, the Insta360 one, or the Insta360 X3, we got rid of the one, has a super nice big screen to see what you're doing and editing, or like when you're picking do I want to film in 360? Do I want to film in single lens mode? This camera, which I have one literally right here, is a game changer. I, I love this camera so much. So I, I have the little door off so I can put a mic. But this is the camera. I mean, it fits in my hand like that. It's not very big. It goes on the stick. It's a 360 camera, so it has lenses on both sides. So like all the powder footage you're about to see me drop uh, was filmed in 360. So like the camera, like it doesn't look, it looks like just a camera is following me, which is really sick. And, um, it's in the description. If you buy the camera through my link, you get the snow bundle for free, which is a bunch of awesome, like extra stuff. And, uh, yeah, best, best camera in the game for sure. It's a 360 X3. I probably shouldn't put that up there. Cause I actually use this like daily. So Insta, is greater than Go Amateur. <laughs> Joey K, that's so funny. I still have an X2, it's a great camera. Dude, it, it really is an insane camera. Hot tub Nate. Someone says, so uh, Aaron says, you won't do it, Nate. Dude, Nate would, Nate would probably definitely do it. Can you drop the link? Uh, Julian's, are you saying drop the link for the Insta360 or for um, camp? I'm gonna do both. Winter camp? Oh. And then if you want the Insta360 camera, or you just wanna check it out, they also have other cameras on the, like Insta360 also has other incredible cameras. So I use the X3, but if you're interested in it, there's the 
the Go 2, which is this like super tiny camera, which I love for vlogging in public. Or if I'm gonna make a family vlog, I use the Go and grab it. Where did Bristol put it? It's also Bristol's favorite camera. She's always grabbing it. Oh, there it is. It's already at my desk. This is the go to, and this is my AirPod case. It's the size of AirPods. The, the, the holder is the actual camera, though. It's like the size of my finger. It's, this is the camera. How insane is that? This is perfect if you're making videos with your kids and stuff, and you don't want to have a bunch of like bulky things with you. There's a hat mount, and like I'll be at the zoo, and I'll just use the hat mount, and I have the camera right here. And if Roman and Bristol are doing something cute, I just like click the button. Now I'm recording and it's sick. How is the Insta 361 r I'm curious about that camera. Would it be better on the helmet? So the one R looks more like your traditional action camera that you've seen, but it's modular. So that comes apart. The one R is cool because it's so many cameras in one, you know, you can get the 360 lens, you can get like the fancier like fisheye lens. Um, the one R is awesome. I would say for him, it's just as similar as the X2 or the X3. Um, the older version, it, it'll be a little cheaper and save you some money, but I got the Insta360 X2. And if you come to camp too, we're gonna have a ton of these cameras and, and stuff available for you to use. And so you're gonna be able to film runs of you riding powder and getting sick turns and lines. So then with camp, not only do you get to be a part of the vlog and in the videos, but you get to, I can, if you already have your camera, you can bring it and I can show you all the like tricks and tips for these cameras to get the best shot, um, how to export it, all that type of stuff. So uh, the X2 is in the description. The uh, Insta360 ONE RS or the ONE RS2. Um, is it two or is it one RS? Um, there's so many cameras, the X3, the Go2. They also have, I haven't set it up yet, but this is a webcam, the uh, Insta360 Link. And so I want to set it up because it follows me or I can follow you. So I was thinking with this, we could do a, uh, a jib session where we go live, but I'm on like the, uh, Snowboard Addiction Board, which we'll have Snowboard Addiction Boards at camp, by the way. And we can jib around on the live stream and this thing will follow me. So like if I like fall to the right, it'll like turn and stuff. It's really cool. That's a webcam. So yeah, tons of incredible Insta360 cameras. I just shared the link. You can, um, yeah, you go check out what they got. And then if you use my link, it supports the channel and you also get because it's an affiliate link, but you also get a um, snow bundle, which is like all the mounts and stuff, which is cool. I filmed my snowboarding with a Polaroid. Todd, that's all you need, dude. The Quamers with another do uh, donation. It says, on set. Thank you so much for the $2 donation, man. And then just double check uh, Streamlabs. What's the battery life on the Insta360? Insane. Let me grab a battery. Look how big this battery is. It's, once again, here's AirPods. Like the battery is the size of an AirPod case. So this battery, I'll get almost three hours per battery uh, on the mountain, even in like cold weather, almost, I would say, not would say, so I filmed all day in 360 yesterday at, at uh, Silverton and that used a little bit more battery life because it's using the full 360. But when I do single lens mode, uh, like a traditional action camera, I'll get three hours of battery. I was getting about like two and a half yesterday. When am I riding copper? Alex is in town and he only has got Keystone. So while he's in town, we're gonna be kind of hitting I probably won't hit copper until I get back from the Midwest. 
the most we'll be heading west in like the summertime um all of april or may are kind of open too like we don't have anything planned yet and that's by design um so our like before summer camp oh by the way i'm plugging winter camp really hard because i want you guys to come winter camp in two days summer camp does become available so if that's like the camp that you really wanted to go to um it's available on the first if you want to come to same same link as winter camp there's just going to be a tab for summer or winter camp and once again that all happens on the first uh, mangus says a huge fan from vegas dude i love lee canyon in vegas it's the it's the sickest mountain what week should I come? Ooh, Nathan. I'd say week one, Nathan. Week one, the, the thing about week one is, I'm not going to say that's better than week two, but week one has a good chance of catching the small park. Um, like Todd and Molly did, we got one day of the small park before they crushed it and then built the most awesome like public park last year. I'm really excited for this year's camp. When we take in 20 people for summer camp, it sold out last year. It's going to definitely sell out this year. So if you're interested in coming riding park and learning all about park and stuff, camp's the way to go. Colton will drive safe, man. I hope you had a blast at Monarch. I love Monarch Mountain. Uh, Alex, don't spam, but uh, we will be coming home... Or coming to Hidden. I don't know. We're we already gone to Hidden. I'm pretty sure. Chris James. Colton, do you have an evolution sticker? I know you're coming home from Monarch. But Colton, have you ever? Have, do you have a sticker? I know you said you're like 13, 12, 10, 10. I know you're young. Cool. And if your parents are cool with it, email Nate Harwood at buckhouseindy.com. His, his email is in my description. Email Nate and tell him you want a gold sticker on the live stream. So give us your full name, your address, and say gold sticker. And email it to Nate Harwood at buckhouseindy.com in the description. And we're going to mail you this sticker, dude. You've been showing up on a ton of streams, man. And uh, Jason was like, give a sticker away. And I just appreciate you being on these streams. So hook you up, dude. And I hope you had a blast at Monarch. Chris James. Chris James, how's Angel Fire, man? Chris was ripping over an Angel Fire. Thoughts on Timberline? I've only gone for the summertime. I haven't rode Timberline in the winter. It's kind of a flat mountain in the wintertime for sure. In the summer... It's the sickest thing ever, man. It's Mount Hood. In the winter, with like, all the options you have to go snowboard, I don't know if I'd go to Timberline. Jude, I know we, we gotta, we do gotta go west and hit a lot of the west stuff. We're just kind of saving a lot of the west coast trips. Just got back from snowboarding, finally can grind rails. Best trick was 50-50 with a frontside 180 off. Dude, VG fan. Let's go, dude. That's sick. Congrats. I I still say remember my first board slide, and it happened at A Basin. You've never boarded in Australia? Me now, I haven't. I've never boarded in Australia. It's because I never had... Passport. My passport showed up in the in the mail yesterday. I'm not gonna show you guys any of the important information. But uh I got a passport now. So for all the OGs, like Osvaldo, everyone that they for like there's a lot of streams where people would donate and be like, money for your passport. It's like, thanks guys. Actually back in the day I couldn't get a passport because I didn't have money to get a passport. But now we got a passport, which means Traveling the world, going to Australia in the summer, could be possible. But yeah, it's, it's one of those things where it felt like it would be so impossible to get one of these. Now that I have it, I'm like, well, now what do I do with it? So, 
Stoking. I think we're hitting South Dakota this trip. Is that PO box in your information correct? I have a winning lottery ticket. Dude, send me the send me that winning lottery ticket, Gary. I'll take it. Yeah, the PO box in my description is correct. You guys can mail me anything. Um, and people do. I get so many cool letters from kids and like one kid made me like a like a a keychain and it's sick. I put it in my backpack, my camera bag. So I can always have this keychain some some kid made me, which is awesome. If you guys are at the point where everyone just keeps asking, like, come here, have you come here? It's like one person asks and then it creates the most unbearable, have you been here, come here, come here, have you been here, spamming. So if you guys want to know where I've gone and where I'm going, go to resortschemaps.com. Here's the link right here. So the top right hand corner has our calendar. You can see where we're riding for this upcoming season as well as all the green snowboarders are where we have gone. You can click on it and watch the videos there. Like, are you coming to Brighton? We've already been to Brighton and you can watch the video there. If we've already been to the ski resort, there's a very, 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 very good chance we are never coming back. So just know that. Colton, thank you, dude, let's go, man. Stoked. Are you going to the moon to snowboard? Crawford? If that becomes a possibility, you know we're there. You know we're doing that. I got fifth chair on sixth chair in Breck yesterday. The foot of powder to my knees was amazing. Dude, Mr. Brody, no way, dude. I'm still up in sixth chair. When you got fifth chair? That probably was, that was, I guarantee that was sick. Day job shredder. I don't know if it's currently corrected. Cody... Cody's the one that has the ability to edit the calendar. This is funny. It's, it's my thing, but I don't have the ability to edit it. Uh, we changed our destinations today because we were like kind of finalizing the trip and, and everything. I'm really excited because we were given two vans from Vancraft to do this trip with. So like we got fully loaded decked out sprinter vans that we're like going on this trip to the Midwest in. So like one, we don't have to stay in hotels, which is huge. Two, we don't have to eat out because we can make all the food in the vans. <sighs> Lashing on. And three, I don't know, it's going to be ripping around. So if we're in the area, let's take a shower in your place. That'd be sick. I love you and you made me want to start snowboarding. I love your humor. Dude, Crawford, I appreciate that, dude. If you like humor... Check out the ski video we just posted. The ski video goes hard. I was like riding past snowboarders and telling them that they suck and stuff. It's so funny. Joey K, you're in a van, like a van life right now? That's sick. You coming to Highland Hills this year? I don't know if I'm coming to Highland this year. We'll be in the area and if it like lines up, we're going to be near it. So maybe. Um... I love Highland Hills. Highland Hills is a resort that I will always come back to. That place is sick. You helped me hit jumps and demolish rails and boxes. Colton, dude, I love hearing that. Did you see that camera thing floating by the moon yet, Molly? Oh, no idea what that is. I'm a van lifer too. Dude, I love when, when me and the family load up in the RV and we like head out to Oregon and like live in the RV. I, I love that. I love that so much because it's not my every day. It's like, we're going to go live in the RV for three months or two months. Like I'm cool with that. And then I do love coming back to my house. I do need to mention um, two sponsors. We'll start with Gamer Sup. Water infused energy drink. You guys need some caffeine in your life. It's organic caffeine, no sugars, non tropics, 
really healthy, awesome stuff. Some people take this as pre-workout, um, but it's a water-infused energy drink, so a scoop for every eight ounces of water. We need to be drinking more water in our lives. Gamer stuff allows that. We have uh, bars that now, like protein bars and stuff. So once again, when you're snowboarding, you don't, a protein bar is the best thing to have instead of going and spending all that crazy money on lodge food. Eat yourself a protein bar, keep ripping. Um, all of that guy is in the description. I have a code that saves you money. And then I might as well just mention, um, I lost, lost my favorite thought. Hemp Lucid, this is the Focus CBD. So CBD is incredible for recovery. We're taking slams, we're riding every single day. Like I need recovery. One way I get some recovery in my life. And this is the Focus one, which, so I ate one of these CBD gummies right before this live stream so I can focus a little better. I'm really into the focus one and I'm really into the sleep one. So if you're into CBD, these two um, or all of this hemp lucid CBD stuff is in the description. And once again, I have a code that saves you guys some money. That code is in the description for the CBD. Um, and for the gamer stuff, these are two sponsors that I really enjoy working with and, and using. And I use this stuff for recovery and for editing and staying up late or waking up early. Like um, caffeine is kind of needed when you're posting two videos a day. <laughs> the live stream yawns, man. You can't, cannot, cannot avoid them. All right, is Nate jumping in a hot tub yet? Let's find out. Oh, someone ordered a sticker. Let's go. Stickers are linked in the description. All right, no one, no one ordered camp. Oh, there's a, the guy that won the snowboard and the binding, the clue snowboard and the clue binding. Um, is uh, his name is Daniel and he's been emailed. So if you enter the giveaway, and you're like, who won the giveaway? Uh, you would have been emailed if you won the giveaway. If you didn't get the email from Clue, you know, you're not a winner. What content should I go for? Long form or short form content? Skier, skier boys. I think is how you say your name. Are you saying like you want to be a content creator? Like what should you create? You said short form or long, long form. You want me to be nice? You want me to be mean? Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm joking when I say you want me to be mean. Okay, skier boy. For anyone that wants to create content and you're like, should I do short form? Should I do long form? I'm going to give you a couple things. If you want to just be famous and known and just want to get a lot of views and get a lot of followers, go short form. If you want to hopefully make some money off content and possibly be able to make it your job, go long form. If you want to have a successful business and do well and have hopefully be able to do this for the rest of your life and hopefully I can do this for the rest of my life, you should do both. Um, it's not a one or the other. It's a, if you want to be successful, you probably have to do both. So I create long form, which makes making short form easier. My short form is absolutely blowing up this year. Once again, we had a hundred thousand on Instagram, uh, yesterday and we hit, we're about like we're like about to hit two hundred thousand on TikTok, but we we're getting a lot of attention from short form, but we don't make any money from short form. I make all my money where I can support my family and have employees and run a powerful business through YouTube because I make long form content. So long form is king, but it's a lot more work. You know, like every video takes about from start to finish, there's like 10 hours in every single video. And we post two of those a day, you know, which is crazy. We've posted 120 long form style videos this season. In the last two months, we posted 120 videos. So Skier Boys, if you want to be successful on YouTube, you gotta do what it takes, period. So like, for my channel to be successful and to be able to do what I want to do with this channel, I'm posting two long form videos a day and three shorts on 
YouTube, but five on Instagram and three on TikTok. And, you know, like, but that's the amount of work and the amount of videos and the amount of effort I got to put in to make this thing work. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if that helped anybody. That was a little bit of a rant right there. Are you going, are you ever going to try ski, ski takes? I don't know what that is. How am I tonight? I'm actually doing really good tonight. Yesterday I was up till midnight driving back from Silverton. So like I'm not as tired because I wanted to wake up at three in the morning this morning because, because I got back at midnight. Um, and then because I was already awake late, you know, I'm like a little in that, like, oh, I can stay up, stay up late. Peyton, or Peyton says, it definitely works because you're on top of all of my socials. Let's go. Popping up in everyone's feeds. When are you going to burn a jacket and snow pants in a video? Dude, K KD, welcome back. Why do you want me to burn a jacket and... I, there's, I just can't. I'd rather give it to somebody than burn it. I do want to burn a snowboard, though. But a broken snowboard. Is it easier to switch to snowboard or switch to skis? Some people... I don't, I don't know. I think skiing might be easier for some people and snowboarding might be easier for some other people. I All I know is skiing is easy. That's all I know. An adrenaline job? Where do I sign up? I guess you can call this an adrenaline job. Are you doing a ski video this season? They're super funny. So I, Josh, I just posted the ski blade video. I'm gonna share it because once again, we're posting so much content. I don't know if people are missing videos, but we just dropped the ski blade video. It seems like it's doing really well. I haven't even shared it on all the socials yet. Ski blade video. If you haven't watched that, go check out the ski blade video. But yeah, we're also gonna ski this year. We'll be probably going skiing when we get back from the Midwest. We need a buckhouse board. I want to ride an evolution board. Nathan, I agree. How's snowboarding when it warms up a little bit and rains? Well, it doesn't rain in Colorado, but like when the weather's warm and the snow gets slushy, I, I love slushy snowboarding. Like, the most. I think spring, summer, like slushy snowboarding is my favorite snowboarding. Yeah, day job, day job, the day job shredder, like full blown 80s outfit the next time we go skiing or ski blading. Inquiring minds want to know best Insta camera. The best Insta360 camera is the X3. If you have an X2, I don't think you need to upgrade to the X3. But if you don't have an Insta360 camera yet, the best one is the X3 by far. It can shoot up to 4K in single lens mode. It's got 5.7K 360 with 30 frames per second. Single lens mode, you can do 2.7K 60 frames per second, which 60 frames per second is the highest frame rate of any Insta360 camera. And... Um, the easiest camera to edit in the uh, post app and everything. So Insta360 is in the description. Nathan, dude, thanks for just ordering a silver or an evolution sticker. Let's go. What's your favorite snowboard ever? Because I want to start snowboarding. I got tired of skiing. Uh, I don't know what my favorite one ever is, but I'm really, really, really liking the Burton Custom. Like, I'm right, I'm liking it a lot. Like, way more than I ever thought I'd like the Burton Custom. Do you find it weird snowboarding with a camera in your hand or a head mount? I wouldn't say it's weird, but it, it, it does throw off your balance. It's not ideal. I would much rather have someone film me every time I snowboard. Especially like if I'm doing park snowboarding, it's impossible to do some tricks. If you have a cam in your hand, 
That's why I have filmers. And so, yeah, can you drop the Insta360 link? Yes, I can drop the Insta360 link. So um, it's not horrible, but if I could have a filmer, I'd rather have a filmer. Once again, we're getting a ton of those. When you come in here, where you go to here. So here's resortskimaps.com. It has my schedule for where we're riding this season. If if your resort's not on there, or your state's not on that calendar, just know it might happen in next year or three years. Um, so yeah. Do you recommend Telluride? Heck yeah, I recommend Telluride. That's why we're going to Telluride for winter camp. Come to winter camp, all-inclusive snowboard camp, a day at Telluride, then a private cat tour in Silverton, and then a hike day at Silverton. It's going to be insane. So come to camp winter camp in the description i'm gonna share the link because i know i know you guys getting you guys to getting you guys to go to the description is not the easiest thing in the world so if i can just put it right here in the chat and you guys can click on it i know that's the move how many resorts you, how many resorts are you going to do this season we were at 43 new resorts this year i think it's kind of i think it's toned down to like 40 because the midwest trip isn't going to go as we were planning you're pumping out a crazy number of videos lately. How often do you go snowboarding? I snowboard five days a week. So we take Sundays and we take Wednesdays off. But tomorrow we have we have like what we call like content days. So tomorrow we're gonna film four videos in one day. We're gonna go snow skating, we're gonna we're gonna ride Walmart skis. I found like skis at Walmart. So we're gonna ride, ride Walmart skis, we're gonna go um, snow skating. We're gonna make a vlog of kind of just hitting the park and we're gonna make a how to hit a box video. So we're gonna film four videos in one day. Um, so that helps with being able to pump out a ton of content. Um, but I think tomorrow we'll have plenty of time and space and everything to film all that content. Actually we're doing five videos because we're gonna do a how to, how to S turn video on our way down the mountain. How much do you spend on gas? Must be crazy. Yeah. My expenses, but I own a business. It's not, it's not, it's, it's not fair. Does that make sense? So like at the beginning of the season, I bought, I bought eight season passes. No, I bought 10. I bought four icon. I bought four Epic passes. I bought two way basin passes. Like no one else is buying that many season passes. That's why like when you guys buy a sticker or you guys buy one of these Insta360 cameras, my wife rolls her eyes. Get out of here, babe. You know, to do what we're doing, Joey K is dropping money snowboards. It costs money, but I do, I want, I do put 100% of the money back into this channel. Like we're trying to do big things. I'm trying to turn this into a snowboard brand. I'm like, I'm not just trying to be a YouTuber. I'm trying to do really cool stuff. So tax season must be fun for you. It's funny you say that because I'm like, I got to send all this stuff into my tax agent. But one, America is built for entrepreneurs. So there's so many benefits to owning your own business. Two, I pay people to do my tax. I don't do my taxes. So tax season is not that bad because I pay other people. I'm like, please help deal with that. Figure it out. Um, Greg says tax right off baby. That is true. Like if I, I bought 10 season passes, but those are all 10. Those are all right offs. But if you're a kid out there or a young adult and you live in America, start a business. That is, that is you live in America. That is like the best gift you were given is that you could be a business owner. Have you ever thought of making ski versions of the windbreaker? No, because the ski merch sales are not on par with the snowboard. And I still am sitting on a ton of snowboard windbreakers. We're on like, I think we have about 80 snowboard windbreakers still. So grab a windbreaker. I'm going to throw that link right here. They're, the, they're awesome jackets. I love the windbreakers. Um, so grab a windbreaker. There's the link right there for windbreaker. If we would have just blown out of the snowboard windbreakers, which I mean, I ordered 200 of them. And we only have 80 left, which is not bad. And I haven't been pushing them as hard this season. But if I made ski ones, 
um i'd be sitting on probably like 100 150 or more ski windbreakers so it's hard but also with that link i shared check out the new merch like the logo on the sleeves we have like so for this shirt and ski version the ski logos on the sleeve which is awesome so uh check out the ski merch we we we've oh, we also have face masks now let me i'm gonna do this let me get this that's not it where is it i need to find it for tomorrow where's that where the face mask at oh there it is ah. So we have new buffs. With the Evolution logo on it. Oh. And we now have Ski. So if you're a skier, you can now get the Ski version of the Evolution logo. Boom, right there. Pretty sick. That was all thing. Nate's been doing a lot of work on the, the merch, so. Do you have a mic on your Insta360? Yes, I do, Dublin. Um, it's the Rode, Rode Wireless Go 2 is the microphone I use on my Insta360s. Dude, you guys are buying stickers like crazy right now. Is anyone signed up for camp? No. Last year, we were doing a live stream. We had like four people sign up for summer camp on the stream. That was a crazy stream. What, what do you recommend for a beginner rider? You mean for like board? Rent a board until you really love snowboarding and then you'll kind of have a preference for what, what kind of board you want. Do you have a discount code for Kuno? Yeah. Josh, if you need goggles, in the all my gear guys is in the description and almost all my stuff has a discount code or the link gives you a discount. But, and uh, yes, 30% off. I think they're like $100 goggles, so you'll get them for 70 bucks, which is a steal. And... Um, it supports me and hooks you guys up with a sick deal. So if you need rad goggles, I use them every day. I've used them every day for the last three years now. So yeah. How often do you wax? You're supposed to wax every four to five days this season. Like normally I was like on the waxing this season. I have not, but Damon has my snowboard and Damon waxed my snowboard. So. What's the worst fall you've ever had? I've had, I've had some brutal falls. Have you not seen my slam videos? I'll pull up a slam video for you. This has, this has some of my best falls in it. If you haven't seen this slam video, you're welcome. This was a good one. How can I transition from front and back side 360s onto from my front and back side 360s onto snow? I can hit them standing still, seems to throw um when moving. Um a lot of it is in the setup carve when you're moving, like how you're turning into the 360. And there's a couple drills. I do, I, I want to make a lot of like how to do a 360 videos. I'm just waiting for medium or for like small size jumps to show up. Like right now it's only like big kickers. So I will have 360 videos coming for you. But if you can like do them standing still, that's huge. Now you're adding momentum, which does make it harder um, to do them. But so like one of the drills is you're riding down the mountain. Where's my little snowboard guys? Uh, Bristol must have took them inside or Roman did. You ride down the mountain, you're going to go 90 degrees and then you're going to pop and twist. So you stop pop up your heels and twist and that teaches you to rotate your upper body the 360 with momentum and that drill helps a ton
Nathan, that code will save you 30% off new lenses as well on the Kuno site. Yo, Jonathan, I want to say thank you so much for the videos that helped me become uh, me become an absolute god. I'm still progressing every single time I go. Dude, slim. Slime? I love hearing that, dude. I'm so, I'm so stoked the videos have helped you. Hello, Jonathan. I just got just got off the slopes in Heavenly Valley skiing in a blizzard. Totally. Total. Silence, dude. That's awesome. I hope you had a blast snowboarding. In a in a blizzard. For this season, Jr. Crabs. I'm going to Hood in the summer for summer camp, June fourth through the first week. Of, let me pull it up. So summer camp becomes available on the first, and winter camp is available right now. But uh, summer camp starts June 4th and ends June 17th. The first week of camp is the 4th through the 10th. Second week of camp is the 11th through the 17th of June. And camp's going to be sick. Once again, you can sign up for that on July 1st. But if you don't want to wait, you want to come snowboard with me right away, come ride powder with me. Winter camp. You can be a skier and come to winter camp. You can technically be a skier and come to summer camp. That's more coaching based, and I would recommend being a snowboarder if you're going to come to summer camp. But winter camp, you can 100% be a skier and come to winter camp. What's my favorite trick? I'd probably back three tail, at least on a jump. This or two, if you okay, send it. Am I do winter camp next year? Day job trader. It depends on if we actually camp winter camp this. Um, depends on if we can sell out of camp this, uh, year, sorry. If we can sell out of camp this year, then yeah, we're going to do winter camp next year. You know, like, this is our first year ever doing the winter camp. It's going to be insane, but yeah. How do you like the Insta360 X3? Also, what settings do you use most? Me mode, HDR. So I don't ever use HDR, but me mode is sick. I do like using me mode. I will normally film in 360 though, just in case something cool happens with the vlog. I can always, you know, 360 just gives me more options, but if I'm going to quickly do a run. I'm going to do it selfie mode. I'll just put it in me mode, which is incredible. I use single lens at 2.7 K 60 frames per second. The most, how confident do you have to be for winter camp? Do you need a split board or anything? Fine. No. Pedro, you just need your normal snowboard and um, all of the like the the Avalanche Backpack Shovel Pro, like we're, we that that's all included with camp. You don't have to to have that stuff. You can bring your own if you already have it. Split board you don't need because we're gonna do Telluride, a Powder Cat tour, so a snow cat's gonna take us to all of our drops, and then the hike day at Silverton. We don't need. Uh, split boards for that. It's all boot pack. And how confident do you need to be? The idea is this camp's meant to give you confidence. So if you can snowboard and you're like, you're like, yeah, I can get down to black. Yeah, I can ride blues. Like this is why we're doing winter camp. So I can help you guys get better at riding trees, help you guys get better at riding bulls, like explain a lot of this stuff to you so you can have a blast. But at the same time, like we're going to rip and have a blast. So if you're interested, Pedro, check out the, I just shared the link for winter camp. When you go to that link, I have a video example of what each day will look like. Obviously, so snow permitting. Like obviously, the day we had a Telluride was a dream. Was a dream day. We could totally get a dream day at Telluride if it snows like that again. So, Ant says, "Come to camp." Do you plan on going to Mammoth Mountain in California? We did a we did two weeks in Mammoth last spring, which were sick. Maybe we'll do some more Mammoth. I don't know. Peace Park opens tomorrow. What? Took some of your tips and on the first time out, wasn't half bad. Went for the first two times a day ago. Dude, who is Ducky? Let's go. I thought you had a good time gripping. 
I want to ride bulls too. Col Colton, bull riding is fun. Colton, I'm stoked that you're gonna be you're that you're stoked on the sticker. Capri Sun. I don't know what that means. Capri Sun? Do you like Capri Suns? No, because they're full of sugar. Got myself some step bonds for Christmas. Sorry, I thought I saw something. Could it be happier, dude? Congrats on the step ons. They not having a strap in is like it's pretty rad. Right, every resort and solar system, Joey K, that, that will take a lifetime. An insane lifetime riding every resort in the solar system. Oh, brutal. Let me check some quick websites really quick. Oh, did someone just buy a windbreaker? Let's go. The, the, the champion jacket. Someone just snagged it. Oh, wait, dude. Yeah. Nathan, dude, let's go. Appreciate you snagging that jacket. Uh, All right, guys. I think we did it. Streams. What's my thought on pit vipers? They're not as sick as cool sunglasses. That's my that's my thought on those. What color are your favorite boots? I like black boots. Jason, camp, camp, camp. Cannot wait, dude. I, it's gonna be insane. All right, I think we did. Sign up for camp or look into camp. Sign up. It's gonna close on the ninth. So do it while you can. There's only four spots left for camp, which is really exciting. So um, consider that, snag a sticker, support the dream. Guys, thank you so much. We have so many awesome videos coming your way, especially the Silverton day. Yo, I'll see you at camp. Hemp HQ, you signed up for camp? Dude, don't, don't tease me at the very end of the stream. It'd be insane uh, if you signed up for camp, but uh what does it say we're, we're gonna go ride walmart skis if you haven't seen the ski blade video check that out we have the powder day at silverton we got the jump day at keystone that's gonna post tomorrow uh we only have two more resort reviews coming out for this season and then next season we'll have more resort reviews we kind of film and add those in the summertime a lot happening dude hemp hq says tomorrow no dude no way oh dude look for jacob all right. Ah, oh, dude, you got me smiling. I'm gonna go to bed happy. They job trying to make me a $2 donation, not letting the fox die. Yo, Jacob, that's awesome. Jason's hyped. It's literally gonna be the coolest experience ever. I, I'm so excited to uh, take everyone through that. But uh, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow with two videos. We're posting daily. Daily.